Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and this is the first episode of a tutorial series from Ableton Live max for life max for life is a visual programming language that you can use to program your own Ableton audio and MIDI effects. You can create instruments like a sampler or a synthesizer for Ableton Live and you can use it to communicate with the world outside of your computer. For example, via MIDI or OSC or USP, it's crazy what you can do with Max for Life or simple with Max because that's the name of the program language that you use to program Max for Life effects. I built my own instrument called the Nux after the Greek god of night. Here you see me playing music live on the Nux, an instrument that I built with Max for Life. Via the touch screen you can create notes and the notes create sounds in Ableton Live. Cool, right? <laughs> in this series I also show you how I built this amazing instrument. In this first episode, I show you what you can do with Max for Life, how to find it and how to use it. In the next episode, we will dive into the program language Max, a language that is much easier to learn than the most other program languages. This tutorial series is free as it is a YouTube tutorial, so have fun! You find Max for Life effects in Ableton Live if you have the Suite Edition. Some of the effects are part of the installation of Ableton Live 10. You can download a lot of effects for Max for Life from the homepage from Ableton. Simply go to ableton.com. Here you go to Packs. On the Packs page you go to Max for Life to filter out the Max for Life effects. Some of them are free like these three here for example, for some of them you have to pay. You find much more plugins on the or effects for Max for Life on the maxforlife.com web page. Here you find the plugins or the effects that are created by the users. Simply search for whatever you're looking for. Let's say you're looking for a reverb, just type in reverb and you find tons of reverb effects that you can use and the most of them for free. All right, let's start. In Ableton Live, you find the browser by open. You can open it here on the left side. Here you find the Max for Life effects. You have three categories, the audio effects, the instruments and the MIDI effects. It's similar as the same what you have here, instruments, audio effects and MIDI effects. But let's take a little look what is the difference. Let's open the Max instruments and maybe here we start with something that you should have, the DS snare. We place it on the track and on this track I have a little MIDI pattern playing notes and immediately you hear the notes with the snare drum. So the notes are going into this uh, instrument and we can listen to it. To see the notes we can use a max MIDI effect. So let's open the max MIDI effect. What is max MIDI effect? A max MIDI effect is editing or displaying or changing the MIDI notes that are going into the instrument. So the snare is our instrument and now let's place the MIDI monitor, what is a MIDI effect, to display the notes. Pretty cool. There's a Oh, uh, other MIDI effect called ARP, it's an arpeggiator. So let's play this little note here. It's just one note. Okay. And now we place the ARP uh, before the snare. And now the ARP is creating 16th and we can edit them like this. And we can create a new MIDI monitor. Let's copy this one with the Alt key. We copy it and place it there. Now we see the MIDI that is coming in. Simply our one note per bar, right? And we see the MIDI that is coming out of the arpeggiator. Let's make it a little simpler.
Okay. Instead of the snare, let's use another instrument, a Max for Life instrument called bass. It's a very basic synthesizer. <laughs> Now maybe we change a little bit the note to make it more interesting. Let's go down, up and up here. Okay, we have now MIDI effects. They are changing the notes that are coming in on a MIDI track. And you basically can place them on a MIDI track. It's not possible to place a MIDI effect on an audio track. Uh, that's not possible. Um, we have the MIDI instruments. They are... Uh, receiving the MIDI to create a sound, a synthesizer, a sampler, uh, whatever. Uh, also, the instruments you cannot place on an audio track. No, not possible. And then you have the audio effects that are changing audio. And you can place an audio effect on a MIDI track or an audio effect. Very easy. Let's take a look to the convolution reverb. You have a lot of presets for the convolution reverb that you can receive by clicking here the second button. And these are the rooms that were sampled that you can use now. So let's listen to this. This is without the reverb. This is with the reverb. Sweet plate. There's a church. Another church here. Oh, nice. Yeah, and there are a lot of crazy uh, audio effects that you can use. Let's take a look to the Buffer Shuffler 2.0. And now we, for example, can change the pitch here and here. We can change the pan. So it's, it's left and right. The amp means the volume. We can stutter it. So all these effects are created with Max for Life. And the crazy thing is you can edit them. You can change them. Because all Max for Life effects have this little button here. And if we click this button... The effect is opening in the software Max. And Max is the program where you can create and edit this effects. So let's open it a little bigger. Uh, we go out from the freeze mode and we go from the presentation mode to the patching mode. And now we can change the patching. My name is Thomas Foster. This was the first episode of a tutorial series for Max for Life that you can find on my YouTube channel, Thomas Foster Music Production. Here you will find also tutorials for Ableton Live 10, for other DAWs and for the most important plugins like Omnisphere, Massive X and a lot more. In the next episode, I will start programming Max to build the first Max for Life effect. So don't miss it. Thank you for watching. Always stay creative. Cheers.